52 Traders bonus episode 92. What I would have done is just left my level like this, but I recently asked uh, a futures trader his um, opinion on my strategy and he gave me a tip. Join Cam every week on the 52 Traders podcast or at 52traders.com to learn how to trade like the pros. This podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only and is not investment, trading, or financial advice of any kind. What's up, traders? Cam Hawkins here from the 52 Traders Podcast. Now, bonus episode today. So what does that mean for you guys out there listening? Well, it means that you're going to get the whole thing for free. Okay, so this is one of the special episodes where I give you an update on my trading to date. So my last update was back in May 2017 and we're now in August so it's been a few months and I've done quite a few different things so if you don't want to hear that last update jump on to I think it's episode 74 and you'll get that in full uh, so yeah I've done quite a few different things I've learned quite a lot from some of the guests and you guys who've come on board will have learned the same things and I've tried to apply those in my own method okay so I'm not actually sort of I haven't used anyone's method per se but it's a whole culmination of different things that I've learned so we're going to talk through that in the show and at the end of the show well actually as part of the show I bring on board uh, the man of the month Andre Stewart who's been on the show a few times this month so he's in trading mentors match off we had him back on the show after his uh, massive I suppose uh, change of form so he was on here back in 2016 as a as a student and now he's back on as a mentor so he's on training mentors match off training up phil so you can hear that episode with him there uh you can also hear the episode that he recorded just recently where he tells us how his form has changed dramatically after losing his job and uh, and we've got him back on the show here today for a couple of reasons one is to walk through my charts and have a look at the trades I've taken and analyze those and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Uh, and he helps me out there and we get a good insight as to what I should be doing and what you guys could be doing if you want to. Now, if you do want to be doing what Andre does, which, I mean, at this stage, he's making a regular income as a trader. He no longer works for anyone. He had a small account. $300, he lost 280 of that in the first week that he started trading full-time. And then since then, he's managed to turn that into a regular income. Now, if you do want to find out more about this and how he does it, and in actual fact, be, be like Andre and learn what he does, then he's decided to offer up mentorship to people like yourself, listeners of 52 Traders Podcast, through the 52 Traders Podcast, all you need to do is jump on board 52traders.com forward slash Andre to get access to this. And look, guys, I've got to say, this is one of the best deals on the internet for trading mentors, okay? So this guy, we know where he came from, we know where he is now, and trust me, I know he's learned from a lot of good guys, and he's spent a lot of money, thousands and thousands of dollars on trading education. And here he is offering it up for very, very, very affordable price. So anyone looking for a mentor, and not just a you know fly-by-night mentor, he's in it for the long haul, guys. He wants to help you guys out. He wants to make you guys profitable and successful. And he's offering up unlimited, unlimited one-on-one -on -one mentorship, okay? And also group coaching as well and a membership area so if you guys have got uh want to chat to other members you can do that as well so it's quite a thorough offering that he's got very personal very tailored so he's going to get you reading the charts like reading sheet music okay so it's like you're going to be able to read the charts without indicators and understand how price is acting and why it's acting and it's in a certain way um in particular around the, the currency markets are the main main ones that he trades but the reality is I think it could probably be applied to, to almost any market. So guys, if you do want to jump on board and learn from Andre at what is a ridiculously low price for what you get, then uh, all you need to do is go on to 52traders.com forward slash Andre, A-N-D-R-E, to see, uh, see all the details. So you get to see a little video of him. Uh, there's a video of a, a mentoring session he did with me just recently. There's, uh, there's also his 
his audio messages before picture sorry his before uh show with nick so there's a little clip from that you can hear you can hear his latest show so we've got the before and after picture which is great and some screenshots of his charts and, and that sort of thing where he's got some comments on charts and stuff along with all the detail around what you get as part of this mentoring program so guys i do recommend jumping on board and at least having a look at it and having a look at the video message from andre there um we've got yeah, oh, sorry, the only other thing I should mention is there's only 50 spots available. So obviously, because he's doing unlimited one-on-one mentorship, he can't offer it up for everyone. Uh, there's only 50 spots, and I did want to give my pro members early access, which I did on, on the weekend. So that was three days ago, and we've already lost 13 of those spots. So guys, there's 37 less left at the time of this recording. So if you want to jump on board, uh, please you need to uh, need to probably act a bit quick because these are going to go fairly quickly, given the fact that the uh, the pro pro members were have already jumped on board and, and nabbed a few of them already. So, guys, that's Andre's mentoring program. So, if you want to find out more about that, fifty two traders dot com forward slash Andre. Uh, oh, there was one other thing I should mention. So, there is an another option I've managed to work out with the sponsor of the episode, Andre's original episode which is Blueberry Markets. Uh, so they are offering up $100 off on the price. So you want to check that out as well. So if you do want to save $100 and open up an account with Blueberry Markets, then you've got that option as well. Okay, guys, so check it out, 52traders.com forward slash Andre, and I'll see if I can chuck some uh, ads up on the site there as well. Now, next thing is onto my trading. So what has my trading been doing? Well, I've got to say, it has been an interesting ride over the last few months. So what I did was I decided to put some structure around what I was doing. So I had a few ways that I was going to approach the market, and I wanted to put some structure around it. So what I decided to do was put some money into a live account, not a lot, 165 bucks. And the idea was to just go, okay, it's not about the money, but I'm just going to trade the lowest risk possible. And every week that I'm profitable... I'll increase that risk. I'll, I'll put one more 0.01 on top of the original 0.01. So for example, the first week's 0.01, second week 0.02, third week 0.03, and so on and so forth, as long as I'm profitable. And if I have an unprofitable week, then I drop back to, uh, so if I'm at 0.03, I'll drop back to 0.02. So the risk, so I suppose it was, it was an incentive for me to trade profitably to get to the end of the week and then be able to increase my lot size to make a little bit more money. But it wasn't really about the money at the end of the day because the account was so small, so it was more about the practice and getting in there regularly. So the other thing I wanted to do was get in there on a regular basis, so I decided that after all these episodes, I should finally take the advice of the mentors that I've been listening to, and you know, which was, what do you do if you've got a day job? Well, just pick a certain time of the day to analyze the markets and place your trades. So that was my intention. Start the start. Uh, start doing that once a, once a day. Look at the charts for an hour at night, around about the same time, which was around about London Open or just after London Open, and uh, and see if I can see some opportunities and place some trades. So first week went off okay. So I I uh, I got there. I think it was Tuesday night. I might may have started. I may have missed the Monday. Tuesday night it started. And I placed a couple of, uh, I think it was two or three trades. I wanted to go, oh, that's right, I had three trades a night that I wanted to do, or a th- maximum of three trades, or sometimes no trades. Now, what I found was it was a lot easier said than done. So I just struggled to actually even stick to my rules, stick to my trading plan. It was a struggle. It was a struggle. So, I mean, the first week, I don't even think I managed to stick to 0.01. I couldn't even stick to it. So I ended up going up to 0.04 and I was all over the place okay 0.03 so I was all over the shop now this uh, the other thing well actually it took me three weeks to get to being consistent with the uh, lot sizes I was going to place so I could actually place a whole week of 0.02 uh, so that was probably number one number two was just sticking to the method that I was using so the method was drawing up uh, trend lines and support resistance on higher time frames as well as Fibonacci uh, pretty much using those and candlestick patterns to pick entry points on lower time frames so I wanted to stick with the higher time frames I wanted to stay sort of no lower than one hour and that lasted probably about 
let's be honest, it lasted probably about three days or something. It wasn't even, I don't even know if it was three days. I think it might have even been one night. The second night, I found that, like, I needed to practice more. I felt like I needed to practice more. So if I didn't place a trade, it was going to take me longer to learn. So therefore, I started placing more trades and therefore going on to lower time frames, which were more volatile. Uh, there was a whole bunch of other stuff that I that I did in there. I mean, I was all over the shop, all over the shop, and I'm sure a lot of you guys listening out there probably can relate to this. Now, yeah, so I suppose what I didn't do, which I should do, is just have a plan that I can stick to, something that I feel confident on. I mean, it, as I said, it was a mixture of what I'd learned over the shows and, uh, and sort of what I'd interpreted and taken away and tried to apply but I'd done it in such a dynamic way that I could turn the chart on and I'd be in a trade within about three minutes I was like literally some sort of crazed addict as soon as that chart went on I had to be in a trade and as soon as the trade closed I had to be in another trade and if it closed in profit it was like well I've got to be in another trade because I need to know I'm consistent it was just I was a complete and utter disaster zone and I did it for a, a good old Good old period. I think it was actually. Let's have have a look and see how long I did this for. Uh, where is my statement here? So, started off on the twentieth of June and ran all the way through. So it was over a month to the 9th of August. Okay. So, and over that time, look, I'll be honest, I was consistently break even. Okay. So I didn't meet my. I mean, and now and again, I'd meet my uh, little little. Uh, uh, goal of, of being profitable for the week so I had a couple of setbacks there but what I found was at the end you know I was consistently break even so I got up to I think it was uh, was $165 account so it wasn't a lot and it got up to 190 finally my last strategy which was doing well for a bit completely <laughs> completely destroyed me along with a couple of massive sort of higher lot trades which I should not have taken so the last strategy I was using was stacking these uh, stacking trades so I wanted to stack winning trades but I ended up stacking losing trades because I realized my stop loss was too tight so I'll loosen the stop loss in actual fact I won't really have one until the price has just really gone against me and if the price goes against me then I'll just stack orders in uh, in the same direction as the first trade and wait for it to retrace back and then Take some profit, maybe exit the first one at a, at a break-even point or at a loss, but when I've made enough profit on the other trades. Now, this uh, this worked well. It worked well for a while. It did work well until I picked the wrong entry point and stacked too much when the price just didn't retrace. The, the thing just did not retrace at all. It went in the same direction for a good three hours, and there was like minimal retrace. It was like bullish bar after bullish bar and I was on a on a bearish I was on a short many shorts in the end and it just wiped out most of my account and then I tried again I think the next day and that wiped out another good chunk of my account and I eventually sort of put a Hail Mary trade in there and it was like left it without a stop loss and this was either gonna win or not and went to bed and it didn't win it just it, I, it ended up going out with a margin call and I could have probably at least survived something with the with the money I had left in there. I could have at least had something. So look, guys, I'll put it this way. It was a great learning experience, but I'm at the position now where I've learnt I've I've learnt what doesn't work. I've learnt quite a bit about psychology and how important it is to have probably a trading plan and also properly journal journal your trades and actually just if you're gonna do testing I've decided if I'm going to do testing now, I'm just going to do it on demo because at least I've done the money thing and I've got to say it didn't necessarily make it any better. I think if I can test on demo, then I can test on demo or even use a back tester tool if I'm going to do, be testing manually. I obviously do a lot of back testing with the automation stuff, but it is quite a different thing when you're back testing a manual strategy because some of the things you can and some of the things you can't automate, uh, especially when you're drawing trend lines that are very specific or, or levels, support and resistance levels that are very specific, Fibonacci, etc., etc., can be done automatically, but in general, 
it's easier to do it with with your own um you know manual manually with your your hand and mouse and eye and and just uh, looking at where you're going to place these things on the chart so guys this my full statement is is on 52 traders website so if you do want to have a look at that and see that you know I was consistent for a good good period of time and consistently not losing any money and slowly growing it uh then by all means jump on there have a look uh, it's in as part of the pro membership, so you do need to sign up as a pro. But it, like it's only four ninety seven, uh, and you also get the video which we're about to see next with Andre Stewart. So if you're interested in his mentorship program and just want to have a sneak peek of what he can do and what he what he does, and have a look at the videos that uh, I suppose how he how, the stuff that he does on a on a screen then you could sign up as a pro member, have a look at that and make your decision. And it's like, you know, it's a, it's a minute fraction, it's 1%, if not, not even that of the uh, of the overall cost of his unlimited mentorship. So without further ado, let's jump on board and have a look at this. Uh, well, I'm going to switch to the video, but you're going to hear the audio here on this podcast. Let's do it. Right guys, to get the full video interview and hear it free, all you need to do is jump onto 52traders.com and it's sitting there for you. All you need to do is register and you get direct access to this interview, along with a whole bunch of other ones that are up on the site for free. Okay, guys, and don't forget 52traders.com forward slash Andre to take a look at that mentorship. See you there, guys.